Hey guys, my name is Alex and welcome back to another Clash Royale already guys but as you can probably tell already we actually made it to Legendary Arena and I'm super pumped up because it's I've been waiting for this like for a long time it's been really hard but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the battle right here where that got me to Legendary Arena it was against Matez007 and I, it's time is 4 speed right now so I put up down a Musketeer, Fireballs, I put down a Skeleton Army he wastes the zap, so then I send in a miner and a mini cord to take that tower down to 1000 hit points. Put the giant and the archers down, but I took it out with um, an inferno tower. I put down the musketeer to defend against those barbarians and minions. I send in a miner and a musketeer, and his tower is down to 800 hit points, so he wastes the fireball. That's the chance I take to send in a skeleton army, raise them all up, and take the tower. So all I need to do now is defend for like 30 more seconds. And my tower is down to 1,000 hit points, so um, I did a really good job at defending. I sent down a miner to defend against the, that baby dragon, and I put down an inferno, and that's going to be game. And so I did end up winning that battle. Um, so yeah, guys, so one thing that we're going to So this is the deck that got me to Legendary Arena. And one thing that we're going to do inside of this video is actually open up the special offer reward that I got from... Um, Getting to legendary arena, it's 100,000 gold, 1,200 gems, and the legendary is just, just for $10. And I really do hope that I get the inferno dragon. Um, it will go very well in with this Lao La Hound Miner deck. But supposedly, I heard that you can hack a legendary chest by tapping a legendary card on the cards to be found and then open up the legendary chest. But I don't know if it works with a special offer. So let's go ahead buy this thing we are, it's already bought so let's open up the legendary chest and what will we get and okay we got an ice wizard pretty good um the, the ice wizard is a really good legendary but um we'll have a ton guys so um i can still buy like two legendaries from the shop if i when they come out in the shop with the 100,000 gold and i can buy two up to two legendary chests with the gems that i have from the shop so there we go we have two ice wizards now we can upgrade it to level two but i really wanted the graveyard um so right now we're gonna put it inside of this deck and yeah it should be good so we're gonna do like three battles um inside of this video so let's actually put the ice wizard in for let me guess the skeleton army yeah i think i'm gonna put in the ice wizard for the skeleton army so let's go ahead and upgrade it because we got the gold. We have a lot of gold. So yeah, there we go. Level 2 Ice Wizard with a Minion Horde and a Lava Hound deck. So let's actually jump into a classic challenge that I started way earlier. Um, I forgot that I had it started, but we're going to be going up against Zox from Gon's U30ER. So <laughs> what a weird clan name, but... Let's actually start by placing down a Lava Hound. And we got the Ice Wizard in rotation. So hopefully I can get a good video out for you guys. When I do get a Legendary in the shop. Which will be pretty soon since they do appear in the shop now. Once you get to Legendary in the Arena. So let's place down this Musketeer and this Ice Wizard. And he did play a Mega Minion on our Lava Hound. So let's try to put down a Minion Horde. But I don't think we're going to have an Elixir in time. So... Let's actually put it in a miner and look at that. The ice wizard is focused on the lava cups and the musketeer is at full hog. Let's put a race ball down. And I was hoping that the musketeer would lock onto the tower, but instead it locked onto the musketeer, which is actually kind of pretty good for us. Okay, so he has a hog rider, so let's put down an infernal tower. And that should go down and crush his push really well. His musketeer only got one shot in. Okay, so now my plans are to put like a Lava Hound and then a Mini Horde and a Race Bar or something like that. So let me just wait till 10 Elixir right here. Or 9, nine Elixir. So, oh my god, I didn't mean to put that there. That was a misclick. So I really wanted to put it on the far right side. But yeah, <laughs> so he does have a level 4 bowler going on at us. And I'm downing to put our my arrows down if... He has like a skeleton army. Yeah, so he just wasted his arrows on our lava pups when his mini horde would have done just great. So our musketeer is gonna clean those um, minions out of the way. 
and the boulder is going to die um so let's put down a minion horde I'm, I'm thinking of sending down a miner so let's put down a miner to distract for that ice wizard and i mean the regular wizard so he did play some fire spirits down where it only killed like two of them so that's gonna cause for a lot of chill damage and i was doubting whether i should actually um rage that up or not but let's arrow his his mini horde let's put the inferno down for his hog rider and we are winning by a lot so let's actually put down a lava hound and his tower is down to 800 hit points um so let's actually put down a musketeer on the back and then let's put a minion horde once that musketeer locks on to it no way let's put on i switched it for that bowler let's put down um this minion horde and yeah he did have to arrow even after like fire spearing or everything so let's put down a uh, minor down rage bro and that should be tower and 100 hit points and that's tower one second left in the match and we would take that win against zox good game um so we got plus three cards plus 70 gold um gold and <laughs> four cards are not a problem for me right now so i'm still pretty pumped up that we got to legendary arena and this deck is actually pretty good um i recommend it but i know that a lot of you don't have the legendary cards but i hope that i do get um some legendaries from the shop and maybe even the the electric wizard which will come out in this side of this new update so let's jump into a battle with rango right here um we got a horrible starting hand we got a, a rage spell inferno tower and arrows well, it's not that bad, but okay. So he sent in a miner, and I was hoping that the musketeer would lock onto the mini horde, but that's okay. Like, we're gonna have to use some arrows on that mini horde. And let's actually put that since I have the miner in rotation, let's put down a mini horde. Let's throw down a miner real quick before that ice wizard takes my mini horde out. And let's put down a race ball and four minis lock onto the tower, and that's gonna be and that's gonna be tower right there guys sorry for that something just wrong but yeah guys that's gonna be tower um an early tower for us there's still two minutes left till the battle does end so i hope i can get to three crown him since we do have the time so he just wasted an inferno so <laughs> quash just placed this inferno down right here okay so let's put a nice wizard down for his miner let's throw down an inferno tower for his dog rider and wouldn't it be crazy if I put down an um, Inferno Tower on his Inferno Tower? Yeah, but... <laughs> um, also, there's this little cool um, thing you can do where you can select two cards and then put them right over and then it actually looks like two cards are missing in your battle deck. But the Ice Wizard is going to do a great job at taking out that Inferno Tower, which he did not need to place at all whatsoever. So we do have an Ice Wizard coming towards us. I already placed that Musketeer down and he logs for no absolute reason. Which will make the Ice Wizard retarget onto our tower and allow our uh, Musketeer to survive. So he did place down an Inferno Tower. Let's put down a Minion Horde. And oh my god, he also placed a Minion Horde. But he is going to have to zap and this Minion Horde is going to annihilate Lion. So that Musketeer did get some free shots in on the tower. So now let's put down an ice wizard down right here and i'm not really sure what i really want to do considering this um deck so let's throw down a miner let's throw down an inferno tower and a musketeer on back for the miner he did counter our miner with the skeleton army but i'm not gonna arrow it since my ice wizard is gonna take it out and the tower's not even shooting at it so hopefully that musketeer on the bottom right will take out the ice wizard which it does let's throw down another ice wizard and one ice wizard does lock onto the tower causing like around 100 damage per hit and let's throw down a miner and let's arrow all of that right there it does end up logging our ice wizard for some reason but yeah his tower is down to 800 hit points he does throw down a hog rider and i throw down an inferno tower and his tower is down to 300 hit points if i would have had like 30 or 10, 20 more seconds I, i'm sure i would have taken that tower but we won anyways one crown of o against rango so let's actually jump into another battle but right before that if you guys didn't know the next legendary is the electric wizard right there i'll pop it up on screen right now 
but yeah guys it will only be for elixir and i've seen some leaked videos of it and it's actually really good so i did want those legendaries from the legendary chest that i got today but yeah so we're gonna be playing against big head from gamers warriors and this is probably gonna be the last battle of the video yeah it is gonna be the last battle of the video so let's put down a lava hound down right here um then i'm thinking ice wizard mini horde rage spell and hopefully that rocket misses our lava hound and no it doesn't it still hits our lava hound but it's not like enough to take it out so let's put down an ice wizard down right here he does place a tesla down i don't know why he has like two defensive buildings let's put a race ball down and hopefully that mini horde does take out the tower and it does let's throw down a miner and that should be devastating he does error on mini horde but the lava pips are still gonna do a lot of damage and the tower retargets onto the miner which will be tower i'm just telling you guys i'm having a lot of fun with this deck it's really overpowered and it's free wins with it like okay like see what see what i said free wins opponent left the match already I'm really pumped up for that. So let's actually place a Lava Hound down here and kill him very, very slowly with this Musketeer, which will lock onto the King Tower. And yeah, guys, I'm literally drained out of the Elixir right now. That Musketeer should do 100 damage per hit and eventually take that King Tower out. The Lava Hound is about to die and it does die. And the King Tower retargets onto the Musketeer, but it should should take care of the tower and yeah it does with like zero hit points left it does take out that king's tower which is really really good for us we ended this video with three crown which is really nice celebrating that we got to legendary arena guys but yeah guys i'm so pumped up that i got so much gold so much gems and i got my first ever level two legendary which was the ice wizard which was also my first ever legendary but yeah guys i really hope that i can get a legendary from the shop very soon and also I hope that I get the electric wizard once it does come out which will be around Christmas time yeah but guys I really want this card but yeah guys um I do hope you enjoyed this video if you did definitely break that like button also comment down below any other video suggestions you had for me but my name is Alex and I'll see you all in the next one peace